Go. Oh my god, that screamer's way too fast. Terra, please get him. Terra, please. Oh my god, she got him. Oh my god, that guy is so fast. Holy shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place March of the Living, episode number five. As of this recording right now, episode one has gone live on YouTube. It does seem so far you guys are enjoying it. I'm getting a lot of comments whether um, Falcon are going to play the game when it's completely done. And the answer to that is more than likely I will. Um, I hope you guys have done your part, though, by um, voting for the game on Greenlight so it does get on Steam. And it'll be more easily accessible to everybody with a PC. I mean, Steam isn't the only platform for, you know, PC releases, but let's be honest here, it's kind of like the most widely accepted one. I mean, I know you have good old games and other things like that, but... You know, Steam seems to be the easy go-to thing. There's many times that I played games that aren't on Steam on the channel, and people are like, is this on Steam? It's like, no, no, it's not, but you could get it from their website. And they're like, oh, no, I'll just wait till it's on Steam. So, you know, it's a lot more widely accessible for that reason. So hopefully you guys have done your part by voting for the game and get it on Steam, so it'll be more accessible to you guys and myself as well. Anyway, let's get onwards over here, and I think we're ready to actually book it, right? Yeah, map it is. So we're leaving the city. We got everything that we wanted over here. Greg is indeed infected. We got infected last episode of I'm Right, so we are going to have to keep an eye on that. The only thing we have to worry about really is the fact he'll lose one HP per day when he's infected. So as long as we find like antibiotics, we should be fine. And now we have Zambros. Oh, look at this. We have a new zombie, a screamer. Oh, hey, that's a new enemy. Um, I'm not sure what you do. Well, what is your problem? You have more HP, obviously. Your hit chance is 35 as opposed to 25. Same amount of damage and you attack a lot faster. Oh my god. He attacks 0.5 as opposed to a 3 second delay from regular zombies. That's troublesome. Oh wow wow wow. We have two zo- Alright, so two zombies behind. One screamer over here. Oh dude, they're- Oh no! They're gonna corner me. This is like the- the, the clap attack. Okay. Um, Alright, so here we can do. Greg, let's have you walk through here. Terra. Over here. And Terra, the moment you're ready to go, I need you to get a headshot on the Screamer. And then Greg, once you're over here, I need you to shoot this guy. Go. Oh my god, that Screamer's way too fast! Terra, please get him. Terra, please. Oh my god, she got him. Oh my god, that guy is so fast! Holy shit! Um, Greg, let's have you move back now, and Terra, same thing. I I'm using now the keyboard, it's a lot easier that way to control people, as opposed to just being like... Clicking on stuff, just use the 1 and 2 to control these people. A lot easier, Falcon. So much easier now, as a matter of fact. So, Greg, let's have you go ahead and shoot Homeboy over here, and then Terra. Eh, might as well take care of that guy, too. I don't want to go into melee anymore, because we saw what happened with our, with our boy Greg over here. Awesome. We got six shotgun bullets. Good. Yeah, don't make up for the ones we just wasted with Greg over here. Alrighty, let's have you guys reload. And back to traveling we go. So, um, is this like a joke now? <laughs> Just non-stop screamer attacks? Okay. Um, okay, this is actually troublesome. Terra, let's have you start moving back. Maybe through here. And get a shot on her boy, and then... Greg, you just hang out there and try to kill him before he catches up to Terra or something. Oh, Greg, it's not the time to miss! Alright, we got him once. Can he do it a second time, or should we just go with Terra? You know what? He needs to reload anyway. Terra, be sure to kill this guy. You got him? That's your target? And Greg, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move back here and reload. And then we'll have you attack Zambro down here. Okay, good, we're fine. Terra, this way, and Greg that way. We really need a flashlight for Greg, man. Those um, darkness penalties are actually pretty, pretty bad. So Terra, let's have you finish off this dude, and then Greg. Take care of this guy if you can. If you miss, we'll have to reload. Oh, good. Speak of the devil. Oh, shit, Stees. Terra. Got time for this shit right now. Now you set up your target. Come on, come on, come on. She's gonna miss, I think. Yeah, he's way too close now. Terra, let's see if you can just get up and around without being grabbed. Um, Greg, how about you stop missing their dog? That'd be nice. You know, he is infected already. <laughs> We should just have him go into melee. What's the what's the harm at this point? Terra over here, Greg over on this side. Give us another shot. And you reload. So um are we just missing non-stop now? Is that is that the problem here or what? Oh jeez. Hunting knife. Damage eight, attack delay negative ten. How's the machete? 
Damage 15, hit chance modifier 10% more. Uh, attack delay negative plus 5. So this is going to attack faster than the hunting knife will, but the machete has a higher chance to hit. I guess I'll stick to the machete. We should probably use the machete more often with um, Greg now because, you know, he's already infected anyway. No harm in that. Okay, so you guys reload. And hopefully we can get out of this area without, you know, hollering to more zombies. That'd be great. Here we go. We have an event now. Youngin, come over here. You walk over across the front yard to the veranda of a home, which looks as if it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. An elderly man looks to be in his 80s at least is sitting in his rocking chair. Would you do an old man a favor? Uh can't do it myself. Okay, let's ask him to elaborate. The old man leans forward, motioning for you to lean over. I remember what this country used to be, back when you could say howdy to your neighbor, and they'd be nice and civilized. Now? The old man throws his arms wide. I fought for this country, seen terrible things no man should see. Our life is now more terrifying than anything I've ever known. He looks deep into your eyes. Please, stranger, please free me from this prison. Oh, he wants me to take care of his life. Ah oh, man, I feel like I'm fucking Dr. Kovorkin over here. <laughs> Alright, dog. The elderly man hands you an old revolver. This baby has been in inseparable from me for my entire life. Saw me safely through the war. It's only right that she sees me off. You check the chamber. One round is loaded, ready to fire. Turning back to the man, you find him sitting where, with his eyes closed, patiently waiting. You place the barrel on the revolver against his skull. It's all right. It's for the best. He says it with a look of solemn contentment. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I do it or no? I can't do it. The two of you stay in that position for a little while, but before long, you remove the revolver from the man's head. Your hands are trembling, shaking erratically. It's simply not within you to fire. Don't feel bad, the old man says. Even the best of us don't always have that kind of courage. You hand the revolver back to the man and slowly walk away. He bids you a soft farewell as you leave the scene. Should I have done it? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I guess he wanted to die, but at the same time, I felt bad, dog. I can't just kill an old man. Even if it's a zombie apocalypse. I'm sorry, okay? I'm a soft-hearted bird. What can I say? Let's leave. I mean, technically, I should have done it, but eh, I don't know, man. I was hoping that maybe there's some, I don't know, some sort of event would have triggered where, you know, have you not done it? It was like a test or something to see if you were a heartless bastard or not. And by not doing it, he's like, oh, you're a good person and, you know, something good happens. <laughs> like, like clearing up Greg's um, inf and infection. That would have been great. We lost a little bit of HP if you saw that when we were walking with Greg. That's because uh, 24 hours passed, so he is going to take some damage from the infection over time. So, since we're in a city, remember, we have to find tons and tons of medication for Greg. But before we do that, let's start off with the police station. And we'll go in for 60 minutes. Even if we get into a fight, uh, the reward is always really good. Alright, you made too much noise, as expected. Hopefully all the zombies are coming from this side and not from behind. So, let's start off with Gregory moving forward a little bit and then taking a shot on this dude. Terra will have you just shoot from here with the grabber. Yeah, they're all coming from one side. Perfect. Got him. Terra grabbed the biter. Nice. Good shot, Greg. Um, Greg, you go after... Rotter. Oh, great misses, guys. Uh, Greg, do a reload, and then keep going after that guy. Terra, you just keep going after the same target. I need to hit it finally. Got him. Oh, good, another miss. Are you Terra? Let's go for Biter, and then Greg. You have to start probably ducking back here a little bit. Got him. There he goes. Great. And you know what? Since, as we mentioned, Greg's already infected, right? Let's have him go into machete mode. And we're going to go after this guy one on one. Now, hopefully, we don't get any uh, more injuries to ourselves here. Oh, one hit kill. How about that? Good job, Greg. 15 rifle bullets, amazing. 13 shotgun bullets, amazing. Hammer can go fuck itself. We got two, four more rations and a rusty semi-automatic pistol. We have an old one. Which one's better? This is damage six. This is damage six. 10 bullets. 10 bullets. Hit chance modifier, negative five. Negative 10. Jamming chance, six percent and four percent. Yeah, the one that we have is better. This one's rusty. At least the one that we have is old but not rusty. So I'll keep that one. Hold on to everything else. Let's see. Greg... Let's have you equip your shotgun again. 
You guys reload? Cool. Let's see. What else can we do here? I feel like we should move the old semi-automatic pistol over to Terra. Just whenever she's like up close to zombies, she doesn't have to keep running because the rifle cannot hit from up close, you know? Maybe I should do that. Hmm. Let's see. So, old semi, remove that one. Terra, let's remove the bottle of whiskey for now. You take the old semi, and then Greg, you take the bottle of whiskey. Alrighty. 1 HP. Let's go ahead and use that on Greg now. Cool. And that's fine. Let's go into, let's see, hunger. Eh, might as well eat now. And let's go back to scavenging. We'll go to... I guess we'll do drugstore next. And we'll do 60 minutes. We need to find a bunch of medication for Greg. To keep him alive longer. Oh, cool. No fight. Food rations two, bandage two, and this one's one. Well, we'll take the bandage and... Huh. Kind of want to grab that, but I'm going to hold on to my items, I guess. Scavenge, let's go into the... Hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we still have the hospital anyway. We'll do the hospital as well as the 60. Hopefully find some more medication. I'd like to get some first aid kits, the four variety. That'd be very, very nice. So where are our zombies coming from? Right-hand side? All right, so... Greg, we'll have you move forward a bit and take a shot on Rotter. Terra, you can shoot from back here, and you have to go after Grabber. I'm not sure why Terra seems to be missing so often now. Weapon jam now, too. How about that? Greg, reload. And after you're done reloading, go after... Actually, go after this guy. Terra, are you uh, firing somebody? You should be. Okay, whew, that guy was actually making a beeline right towards Greg. Terrifying stuff. Uh, Terra, let's have you move back and get one more shot off on Biter. Gregory, you have to start probably playing bait here a little bit. Oh, a lot of these guys are coming straight for Terra. Holy shit. Alrighty, so, Greg, let's have you move all the way over here and reload. Terra, you're going to have to start booking in here pretty soon. So you might as well go up through here before you get grabbed. Okay, good, good, good. Greg, stop missing. God damn it, Greg! Terra, let's get a shot on... I guess, Rotter. Come on, Greg. Oh, <laughs> Greg, you're busting my balls here. Actually, you know what? She killed the guy that I guess, I guess Greg was going to shoot at, so I didn't click this guy. That's my bad, then. Uh, Greg, down this way. Tara, take care of this guy. If you can. Nope. Not going to do that. Through here, here. Keep moving down that way. Okay. Reload on the walk, guys. Reload. So, Greg, you have 30... And 20. Let's go after 20, and Terra, you take care of this piece of shit right here. Nice, good shot, Greg. Hurry up, hurry up, Terra. Fudge! Oh my god. That is horseshit. <laughs> that, that weapon keeps jamming a lot. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with it now. Uh, Greg, let's see. We got antibiotics, which is one HP. This is one HP. Three rations and one more HP. Damn. Let's hope for some first aid kits. All right, so we have two bandage. We have one HP. Mm. Well, I guess we have to... Well, let's see. We have two and three, right? We have enough for three more days for Greg. I guess in three days, we could probably find another city. So I guess we'll leave those behind. What's going on with this old rifle? Jamming chance 6%. It's happening way more often than 6%, man. RNG's over here just bending me over right now. You guys reload. I guess you we'll probably get some rest here pretty soon, too, huh? Let's get some rest. Good. And we'll check out the apartments um, once we wake up. We could probably find something good in the apartments as well, so it's still not the end of the world. For Greg. Well, actually, for Terra. For Greg, at some point, it's going to be the end of the world because of the infection here, but don't tell him that. <laughs> It'll just probably depress him. Let's go into Scavenge, and we'll do Grocery Store at... 20 minutes. We still have a lot of food, so I don't have to worry too much about that. 
two more rations? Nah, I'll take it. As a matter of fact, let's just eat those now. There you go. And scavenge apartments. We'll do 40 minutes for this one over here. And hopefully avoid some Zambros. Nope. Now avoiding Zambros that we have. Wow, we eight zombies to deal with. Shit. Alrighty. Greg, start shooting from now, and then Terra, start shooting right now as well. Good shot. Good shot, Greg. Nice. Down to three, so you go over here, and then you go over here. No, another time to miss, dog. Well, we had a really good run. We weren't really missing for a while there, especially with the shotgun from afar. Terra, you come down this way, and oh, hey, hey, you leave Terra alone, dog. Zam, dog. You move around through here. Terra, you will play sniper while Greg over here just runs around. Oh, good. Nice um, pistol jam there, or gun jam. Terra, watch out. Terra, run. Oh, that guy was trying to go for a grab. No, no. No more infections. Let's see. Greg, go into machete mode. Fuck this guy up. Okay. Come on, Greg. Boom. Got him good. All right, good job. Good job. So this was the last one. What what, what happened to... I thought we were... Um, oh, the apartments gave us nothing? Really? Since when? I'm a very salty individual. Alright, well, whatever. Let's, uh, well, we have to go now, right? We already aid. Map it is. Where to? Come down through here, I guess. Alright. I do wish, like, at some point they will add, like, uh, maybe a fast-forward feature for this part. Like, the whole walking over there. Like, I don't mind it too much, but at the same time, it's kind of like, after a while, it's like, yeah, you know, just let me get to the spot already. If something happens midway, like a zombie fight, then just trigger it, but, you know, why sit here and watch it every single time? Uh, the long grind of the journey is starting to wear on you, so you decide to stop by one of the few fortified communities dotted around the place to catch up on some rest. You sign the logbook with a flourish and enter the town of Condor. Walking around the town square, you see a man all suited up, standing on a small wooden crate tied to a wooden pole between some tents. You notice that no one else seems to be paying attention to him. You stop a passing citizen and ask why the man was tied up. Oh, him? Citizen snorts. His name is Elliot. Sheriff Jackie caught him trying to escape from his cell, so to be safe, she bound Elliot to a pole so he wouldn't be able to move. Between you and me, though, she probably just tied him up for the sake of it. Bad blood between those two. You ponder what to do with this new information. Um, ask Sheriff about Elliot, cut Elliot's binds and help him escape, ignore Elliot and go to rest. Let's ask Sheriff about Elliot first. Uh, the Sheriff proves easy to find, as she's fast asleep in a rocking chair with a shotgun in her lap. You try to rouse the woman from her slumber by repeatedly shouting, Hey, Jackie! Causing more than a few stares from passing civilians, you ignore them. What you want? She says, eyes closed, still half asleep. You tell her you want Elliot. Take him then, I don't care. Leave me alone. Amazingly, she manages to fall back asleep within seconds. Clearly, she had too many drinks. Oh, free Elliot. You saunter over to Elliot, untie the ropes binding him, and tell him Jackie said he was free to leave. He thanks you, telling you that he has some nasty business to attend to, whatever that means. If we meet again, I'll be sure to repay you. Elliot turns and vanishes around the corner. Leave the town before Sheriff realizes what you've done. Huh. So this might be one of those like ongoing quests, kind of like an FTL. Let's look at her map here. Well, it's not pointing to a quest yet, but maybe it just randomly happens. I don't know. I guess we'll keep our eyes open then. So, we have a city down here. So down here we go. Have some water here meanwhile. Alrighty. So... Fatigue, getting a bit hungry as well. Might have to... Might have to actually stop and rest here in the middle of the streets. Uh, a, man bar a man bartering with another is seen when you arrive to a safe area. He seems to be upset about something and is beginning to raise his voice. You walk over to see what's going on. Hey, look, man. You said if I brought you this watch, you'd give me some cigs. Now, you're saying you don't have any? This is ridiculous. If I had a pack of cigarettes, I could offer that to the man with the pack of cigarettes. I also have a bottle of whiskey. Offer the man a bottle of whiskey or try to calm the man. Um, well, you know what? We've been saving these items for a reason. Let's go ahead and offer him a bottle of whiskey. I appreciate it. Sure as hell isn't cigarettes, but it'll help me forget about them. He cracks the bottle open and takes a swig. 
Tasty. Sorry to tell you I have nothing to give you in return. Maybe if we meet again. He wanders off and continues drinking the whiskey. Oh, we got a barter, though. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's see here. You know, it's about time we wrap up the episode, too. I'm going to do this bartering offline. Um, or not offline, but off camera. We'll come back to uh, continue our journey here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.